Okay, so uh, in this recording, I will prove uh, one of the um, identities in vector calculus that will be useful in uh, various chapters uh, in electrodynamics. So f is a scalar field. A scalar uh, uh, f is a scalar uh, function, and uh, a is a vector function. And I will prove the following identity. So, uh, you know, the, uh, the proofs come straight from the definitions of the product rule for uh, uh, ordinary derivatives. Uh, so if I start, I'm going to take the right-hand side. So Okay, so this is the divergence. So the divergence by the definition is d over dx. Of the uh, of the function inside plus d over dy f a plus d over dz f a. Now, motivated by the product rule, I will apply the product rule on this guy and differentiate with respect to x. So this will be df over dx times a plus f partial derivative with respect to x of a over dx and I will do the same on the second one and the third one let me just uh, move this to the left so I can have more room here okay so plus uh, df over dy times a plus f D A Y because you differentiate the corresponding components with respect to Y D Y right because um, uh, uh, D X operates on uh, the X component uh, D over, that's how the divergence works D over D Y operates on the Y component and D over D Z operates on the Z component so this is the uh, second guy plus df over dz f times a plus f daz over dz okay uh, now um, I know uh, that uh, this is nothing but I can collect these three here And uh, this is just df over dx plus df over dy plus df over dz. And uh, this is all multiplied by a. Plus uh, f. I will factor f from these uh, dax over dx plus day over dy plus daz over dz and this whole thing is multiplying f okay well uh, these are the components of the gradients multiplied by vector a which means, uh, but of course this is a scalar, so I can call this the gradient of f, which is uh, df over dx in the i, df over dx in the y, df over dx in the j, but I want the answer to be scalar, so I can just dot that with vector a, so to get rid of the vector notation, because this is supposed to give me a, a scalar answer. Um, and plus now f and what is this well this is a scalar and it's partial derivatives of the components this is just the divergence of a so f times the divergence of a and this way I would have proved the above identity 